you guys. Happy New Year and happy Friday. It is Queenification One back at you again with yet another video. And today is uh, wig number five in my wig series. And I'm super excited about this wig, you guys. Why? Because I've been waiting and waiting and waiting to um, do a first impression on this wig, an uh, unboxing type thing. And um, if you guys hear that, that's the wind. It's uh, snowing where I am right now. And the wind is blowing, you know, pretty hard out there. So if you guys hear it rustling around, I'm um, really close to the window. So anyway, um, I'm super duper excited about this wig. And I wanted to save it for last because I knew I was going to be excited. I hope I won't be disappointed. And I hope you guys won't uh, be disappointed either. So let's get into this wig. It is by The Stylist. Um, and it is called, it's the Stylist Collection, it's a new starting line, you can be beautiful, glamorous, sexy, and confident. And it's called um, Supernatural Straight, and I number one. Now when I saw that name, um, I don't know if you guys remember or if you guys have seen it, but you can check through my videos. It's a really old video, and with my older videos that have really, really bad quality, I try not to really... Uh, uh, refer back to them a lot because the quality is so bad on those videos the lighting is horrible so I try not to really refer back to those videos too much but sometimes I have to um I don't know if you guys remember a few years back many years back I did a video um I believe on the su supernatural woman um uh it was a uh, weave in hair and i did like a little bob or whatever like that and i believe i uploaded that video a few years ago i might have taken it down but whatever the case when i saw the name of this wig it instantly reminded me of that hair and i absolutely love that hair it was like a bump um i don't know if you guys remember the bump hair that used to come in like a eight and ten inch well the supernatural woman weave was um i believe a ten inch so it kind of brought back memories and obviously when I saw the wig I was like yes I want that wig <laughs> but on the actual box it does not have the style but I'm pretty sure um, you know a picture with the model and everything but I'm pretty sure inside they have one of those pictures yes they did and now as I said I remember showing it to you guys when I did my haul video um, okay so this is the picture and I also told you guys this wig reminded me of when I saw it um, inside the box here it's so pretty I wish all my wigs came in boxes like this it would be so much easier to store and stack you guys know what I'm talking about when you don't have a million uh, wig heads lying around or canvas heads or whatever and you got to find somewhere to put all your wigs <laughs> so <laughs> so it's it, I, I really wish uh, more companies would put their wigs in boxes because they would be easier to stack and um, for people like myself who have tons and tons and tons of wigs, when you have these packages like this, the plastic just after a while this plastic wears away, um, or it might get ripped for some reason or whatever the case. But things happen, and I feel like with a box it'd be a little bit more sturdy. But anyway, let's get into the wig because you guys know I ramble. So let's go on and get into this wig. So first, uh basic packaging except for it's inside of a box you know regular just that's a nice box though okay so we're gonna go ahead and take all this paper and the netting and all of that off and this is the lace front you guys so you got, are gonna have to cut some lace okay let me cut this tag off. You guys know I always end up forgetting something and I forgot my actual hair cutting scissors. So I'm using regular everyday scissors <laughs> to, do, to do this. So I'm hoping and praying that, um, I'm hoping and praying that I don't mess up my lace. <laughs> so anyway, natural standard packaging, just like most wigs, you guys, you're going to have that little, oh, okay, good day. Oh, it was stuck to the cones. Um, you're going to have that cardboard to hold the, um, the wig 
you know, the shape of the wig. You're going to have tissue paper. And I did not cut the... Sometimes you guys know you'll have that little... I don't know if you can see it. Um, sometimes if you don't cut the tag off at a certain place... And I don't know why they attach it where they attach it. Because sometimes they attach it right to the adjustable straps. And I'm like, come on. Like, suppose I cut the adjustable strap by mistake, you know. Anyway, so let's get into the construction of the wig. It's a, it's normal. Oh, what I was saying before is, when I saw this wig, it reminded me of the A. Marie wig. If you guys uh, remember that wig, um, I, I had that wig a while ago. But it did not have, like, any parting room at all you had literally like a half of an inch of parting room and it was just right there in the middle i love that wig to death but i hated the parting room but this one is a little bit better i mean a lot better actually um it's not like a really thick wig or anything like that it does have layers it's really pretty but you do have this here oh yes my light in y'all <laughs> i uh I tried to do a little bit better than I had, you know, previously. I'm trying to trying to do it with the light and a little bit better so you guys can see these uh, wigs. But you have that nice parting right down here in the middle. Let's go ahead and flip that wig inside out so we can get a good look at it. So you're going to have that parting right, like a curved parting right here. And I think that's really, that's pretty cool. You know, some people... Um, I mean, me, myself, I, I would include myself in that. Some people, I do like when you have all of this out, at least, um, where you can part it anywhere. But at the same time, knowing me, I'm probably, probably going to just wear it to, you know, with a part on the left hand side and my little swoop. Or sometimes I'll venture to do a middle part very rarely, but I'll venture to do a middle part. But I think this is awesome. You know, it's probably about how many inches is this? Now, you can measure inches with your finger, you know, each little, uh, you know, usually, I mean, this is what I, I learned when I was in hair school. Um, each little section is, is about an inch. So, that's usually, you know, if you don't have a, a measuring tape or something like that, that's a good indication of how you can try and, you know, get a, a rough idea of what an inch is. So, I'm going to say this is about, hmm. A good four inches, maybe three and a half inches. That's good parting. <laughs> so let's turn this back inside out and let's just see. Um, you're going to have your two combs in the front here. You have your lace, of course, um, and that parting with the lace down the middle. Again, you have your two combs in the front, you know, off to the side. And then you're going to have your standard, you know, um, lacing. Sorry, I'm recording on my phone and I'm getting all types of messages. So I'm trying to <laughs> shoot those away so I can see what I'm doing here. You're going to have your, uh, you know, your black lacing up at the top. And then you're going to have your normal wefts down at the sides and on, um, you know, on the sides and down through the bottom. And then you have in the back, you have standard, just like most wigs. You're going to have that, uh, let me move that tag. You're going to have your uh, comb in the back, which is just slightly larger than the combs that are in the front. And then you're going to have your adjustable straps. So let me go ahead and what I'm going to do just to kind of speed up time a little bit here is um, instead of having to actual, actually speed through the video, I'm just going to pause this for a second. I'm going to cut my lace off camera and I'm going to come on back. I'm going to adjust my straps and I'm going to come on back and um, put the wig on for you guys. Okay, so give me just a moment. Okay, you guys, so I have that lace cut. And I have my uh, straps adjusted. Well, I had my straps adjusted. It <laughs> decided that it wanted to come out. So, there we go. Okay, so everything has been taken care of. And we are going to throw this wig on and see what it looks like. This, oh my gosh, I've been excited about this wig, you guys. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting to do this wig. Like I said, it's not... Wait a minute now. It's not a, a thick wig or anything like that. And I don't really, I'm not really into like really um, thick wigs or whatever like that. I generally prefer wigs that have more of a, a natural, um, 
thickness to it. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and I didn't wipe my makeup off. <laughs> but that's okay. We're gonna keep on going. Um okay, so let me hmm. My hair isn't completely flat under this, so I'm just trying to work it out, y'all. Just trying to work it out. I think I'm gonna use the combs if I can. Where's the other one? Oh, I got this all types of ways. Oh, okay. It's supposed to be a side part anyway. Um, I remembered that just now. <laughs> okay, so ooh, hair is all in my face. Okay, let me get my brush on and just. Ooh, yes. I like this, y'all. It's really, I mean, it's not like, I wouldn't say it's super duper like soft or anything, but it, it, it is really, really nice um, hair. Really, really nice hair. Um, it's not, let me just grab this tag because I, I know it, I mean, it's definitely not human hair, obviously. Um, it is curling iron safe up to 360 degrees, so you guys can use a curling iron or flat, flat iron on it. Um, it doesn't really say, let's see. It doesn't say how long it is, but I would say this is about, uh, probably about 20 inches at the longest. Um, it's really, guys, this hair, woo! And y'all know I love my swoops. So we got our little swoop going. <laughs> I'm excited. Um, It's maybe I need to move it forward just a little bit. Because y'all know I got a big forehead. And I don't be trying to show it off like that. <laughs> but this is, oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm glad I saved this wig for last. The best for last. Because it is really pretty. It does have these nice layers. Nice layers. So... The hairline is a little bit more round, rounded than I would want it to be. That's my natural hairline right there. You can see it. Um, but this hairline is a little bit, as you can see here, a little bit too round for me. But it'll work. It'll work. I'm going to do a quick... Oh, it is getting stuck all to my face. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do a quick quick 360 and let you guys see this wig in its entirety it is beautiful y'all it is beautiful okay so i'm gonna try and do this i'm a little bit really close to my lights so i hope i don't unplug them or knock them over or knock myself over in the process but we're gonna go ahead and try and do this 360 y'all <laughs> oh okay i got hair all in my mouth okay all right <laughs> so here is the front you guys let me put this down. This is the front, you guys. So pretty. So pretty. I'm loving it. This is the side. This is the back. Honey, this is woo. This is everything. And I'm I'm five four, and this goes like right above my butt. Like I'm not even gonna lie. When you put all the hair in the back. This is the other side. I hope I'm not out of focus. And this is the front again, y'all. I am loving this wig. Loving it. Now, y'all know I've been um really kind of trying to get my wigs in burgundy and red colors. But they did not have this one in a red color when I was looking for Black Friday. So I'm hoping when I look again, they will have this um in a burgundy or red color. And I'm hoping when, they, when and if they do have it, it's not just like all red. You know what I mean? Like it has a nice uh, uh dark root. And then that burgundy color. And that's usually what I... This hair, y'all. <laughs> it's nice and all, but it's getting all stuck to my makeup. Anyway, <laughs> um, I'm hoping it has like a nice uh, dark root. And then that red color. This hair is so beautiful, you guys. I can't wait. I cannot wait to go out with this hair. The, um, the layers are so pretty. Look at that, y'all. It, it like frames the face. Let me... Try not to make this video super duper long, but it's already almost 15 minutes. Let's hurry this along. <laughs> but it kind of frames the face. 
it is y'all this wig is everything so again this is the stylus um supernatural straight again it reminds me of that a marie wig so check out the a marie wig i'm i'm sure they still sell it around so you know um a few different websites i've actually seen it on um so i'm sure they still sell it but this i think is like a upgraded version i don't I'm not, I don't remember who made, who was making the Amory wigs, but, um, I don't think it was the stylist. Whoever owns, I, I'm, sh I don't know. I was going to say whoever owns the company, the stylist might be the same pe people who own the company who made the Amory wigs, or this is inspired by that wig or whatever the case. I don't know, but this wig is a thousand percent better than that wig. That hair was so pretty as well, but there was no part in the room. So let me get a little bit close. There you go, right there. You can see that um, nice curved part. Now, what I would do is I would personally put some concealer in there. Usually, you guys know my videos are super long, so I <laughs> try and eliminate some things where I can. But when I actually go to wear this wig, I'm probably going to put some nice concealer in that. Um, just so I can make the, the part pop out a little bit more and you can see it a little bit better. I mean, you can see it if you close. It's real pretty. It looks really natural. It's not really, you know, that big and all that stuff. And it's a nice curved part. Um, but like I said, personally, going out and, and, you know, going about my business, about my day and everything like that, I would probably put some concealer powder or some foundation or something in there just to make the uh, part look a little bit more, um, a little bit more natural. Okay, you guys, so this is that wig. I'm super duper excited. I'm glad I saved it for last. Um, I will see you guys in the next video, which is going to be on next Friday. Um, I will link my Black Friday haul video below, as I do in all my wig videos from that haul. Um, so I will link that video below, as well as um, where I got this wig. Again, as I say in all my videos, I'm not sure if the prices have changed because it was a Black Friday sale. But, guys, you got to try this wig out. You have to at least once try this wig out. But, whatever the case. <laughs> um, Happy New Year again, you guys. I'm glad you uh, stopped by to visit this uh, new new uh, video that I've done. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me guys know what you uh, think about the wig series and everything like that. And let me know what other types of wigs you guys want to see. Shorter wigs, longer wigs, bobs different colors than you know what I normally wear which is like burgundies reds and jet blacks but if you guys want to see like a different color maybe like a uh light brown or a mixture whatever the case let me know so I can do those videos I can grab those wigs and we can um check those wigs out together this is queenification one happy holidays you guys and I will see you in the next video bye bye now